Alright, what's happening y'all? It's your boy Zell and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. Alright, it's been a week. I'd say about a week since I dropped the video. As y'all can see, well you can't see, it's a few boxes here and there and shit. I'm almost done unpacking. I'm finally in my new apartment. Like I said, I had a lot of shit going on. And um, yeah, man, I finally had time. So, I miss talking to y'all. Definitely about to give y'all the updates on what's been going on at my building and what I see in the future. Uh, but before I start the episode, um, y'all gotta let me know, this is how I used to present the show back in the day. If you go all the way down to my first videos, this was my background. I had a table. I might put the table back, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can let me know, hey, y'all like this look or when I get my curtains and shit up over there, I record over there. Or if you like both, I could do some shit on this wall when it's certain content and I go over there to that wall. Well, I won't say wall, that's pretty much my porch. Over there to discuss other content, you know, a different feel. Like I can switch this shit up on y'all a little bit. All right. So kill season is among, among us. If you don't know what kill season is, peak season. It's on the way. And the crazy part that blew me away about the shit is, is because peak season is usually in November. When the fuck did it start in October? Come, somebody please let me know. Did I miss the memo? Did I miss something, an update? I don't know, but that shit is coming up immediately. Like they was talking about the shit in my bathroom, talking about, you know, MET was coming up, which I don't give a fuck. As long as it don't affect my test date, I'll be there. I need the money. You know what I'm saying? Because my rent a little bit higher here, but it ain't terrible higher. But you know, it's all good. You know, it's a new start, new apartment. We're going to try try this background out with my OG chair. Y'all know about this chair. It's that OG shit. But anyways, yeah, MET coming up. So kill season. They going to be watching y'all asses. Ooh, excuse me. I see this shit every year. If you fucking up, stop fucking up now. If you stealing, Stop stealing now. They're already watching you. They just want you to rack your money up. Or, you know, if you are stealing and shit, they probably going to use you until this peak shit is over with, then they're going to give you the boot. You're going to be seeing the credits. I told you, they always got that sniper waiting on your ass. Like, oh boy, when this peak over, we're going to fire the fuck out your ass. And bang. Um, that's what I'm going to do this on another episode. The homie Lulu sent me some shit. About, you know, I guess, I guess a guy got caught stealing over like three racks or was it five racks worth of Apple products. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm going to show y'all how this shit going to look and how this process going to go when you getting fired. Not to tell the dude had no idea it was coming. He was just lost. Not to tell he's probably fucking scared of shit. They arrested his ass, but we going to react to that video. But yeah, um... Shit just been lit. They've been hiring so many fucking people. I ain't never seen this many people. And like, they're trying to cross train other people in other areas. I had a dude from AFE come down today. He looking like, man, it's some bullshit. They talking about it's mandatory for me to get trained to ship die. I'm like, I ain't never heard no shit like that before. So if you heard this at your site before, let me know in the comments. I ain't never been heard you were forced to do something. And I can give you the formula how to escape that shit. See, they tried that fuck shit with me when they tried to train me in stove. So what I did when I got over there to stove, I played the fuck out of stupid. You want to do this? Oh, this? No, this. Oh, this? No, this. This? Go back to AFE. Yeah, motherfucker. I know I, I'm trying to pull a rabbit out the hat on my ass. Tried that same bullshit at Walmart with me. And I, I applied for stocker. Well, you need to read the fine print that we can send you anywhere. Well, make that fine print a little fucking bigger. Because, no, I'm not about to be a cashier. They put me up there. Push this button. Boop. Push this button. Boop. Push this one. Boop. Oh, so they changed $100? Oh, hell no. He going to shorten our register. You got damn right. You want to play the fuck out of crazy with me? I'm a little crazier. Stop playing with me, my... Like, <laughs> But yeah, they are definitely sniper motherfuckers. And yes, man, as, as I'm working there more and more, I'm starting to see that they do choose their battles, man. I see so many people in there with ear pods in their fucking ear every day. Shoes ain't on, but if they see certain individuals, 
they fuck with them. Like my department, they fuck with us heavy. Like I said, we too small and we easy to catch. But it's like this shit is at, at this point, it's like borderline harassment. Like stop fucking with us. Like 30 people walk past you with some Air Maxes on or some fucking Crocs or some Ugg boots and you ain't say shit to them. But you see us over here with one ear pod in or got our phone out, you telling our manager on us. Stop that bullshit. And if you a fucking snitch, man, you do not get paid to tell on people. You're not going to make any more money. You're going to make more fucking enemies. That's what you're going to make. You're going to make it very uncomfortable for you in there to work. Some people are like, oh, I don't care. Some other people don't care either. I've heard numbers of stories of motherfuckers being caught at Target, Walmart, Dave's, Save a Lot, you named it. Got their ass beat the fuck on. Like, seriously, like, they don't care. Like, yeah, you that motherfucker that told on me? Yeah. Well, or, or just talking shit in general, man. Because it's, the, like I said, I've been hearing numbers of fights. Motherfuckers been getting their fights up in Amazon, man. I almost seen one pop off today. I'm looking like, this about to be some shit. You know, especially with CNW. It might be AB, um, ABM still at y'all building, but where I'm at now, it used to be ABM, but they call it CNW now. Same shit, just a different name. And it's like, <laughs> it blew me away because they fired all the eight um, ABM people and hired them right back to CNW. I'm like, what the fuck was the point? Oh, new name, new company? Like, it's the same rule. So, if you think motherfuckers is lazy with this title, they're going to be lazy with that title. But I don't know. I'm here to make this warning video. You know, peak, peak season is coming up. And that's when they uh, watch your ass very, very thoroughly. Yeah, they're going to let you do your work. They're going to let you do all that. Because, like I said, I've heard before that motherfuckers was getting write-ups that they didn't know about. I don't even think you both, I don't even think that's allowed, man, to be honest with you. Like, I feel like you should be telling motherfuckers if they got a write up. You should be letting them know. Like, fuck them both know. Yeah, don't wear them earphones again. But every day I'm wearing this shit and you come to me, yeah, we got fired you because, you know, like, you caught you five times with earphones. Five fucking times? When the fuck was the first time? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's, that shit cool. So I don't know. I'm just telling y'all to tread lightly in that bitch, man, because this is the time they really get you. Like I said, prime and peak are like the kill zones. And then they hire all these people with white badges. And I'm telling you, that's another thing. I, I, I just almost skipped over that. If you are in there with fucked up rates, <coughs> excuse me. If you in there with fucked up rates, quality, productivity, whatever, and these new people come out here and outshine your ass, you are out the door. I'm telling you now, hear me again. If you have bad rates and numbers and these new people coming in here and they smoking your ass, I, I can't get mad at Amazon. That's actually a good business decision, especially if you've been there three, four years and you've been getting raises, 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 and these new people are here making less than you, I can pay for something better and pay it less. This motherfucker been here for a while. And they just comfortable and they ain't really doing me no justice. And I'm paying them like down there twenty dollars an hour versus this sixteen fifty. Yeah, get him the fuck out of here. So hear me and hear me well. If you in there fucking up, clean up your act right now. The time is now. I think our should start October tenth and eleventh. I'm not even sure what day it was. I seen it in the bathroom. And I forgot what day it was. Damn, I wish I could tell y'all. I'll probably update y'all tomorrow. After I make this other video, after I put my curtains and shit up over here, then I'm going to shoot one over here. I'm going to just see which background y'all like better, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's my warning video, man. You know, I fuck with y'all. And shout out to the dude that was asking me about the Zappo shoes. He was asking, what's the discount code? I don't think it's a discount code because you have to sign in Zappos through your Amazon. So when you go to the checkout, that discount is already in there. And if you go over the discount, you feel me? You just pay the difference. Like I had got some safety shoes, I think this was like two years back. And I think they give you up to like 100 or $110. My shit came up to 30, I just paid the $20 difference. No big deal, it, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay for your comfort and shit like that. You know, it ain't a fashion show, but you, it, it's some shoes in there that you can rock with. About to break the motherfuckers in. I'm telling you right now. I have never heard of somebody with a good review about safety shoes. And they always say it took about two, three weeks for you to break them shits in. So if you don't got safety shoes, why this prime shit about to come up? I mean, it's peak. You better get them motherfuckers now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So salute to the dude that asked about that shit. I don't know. I don't know if he had a stand up or 
you know, you get a text message or an email, and they're like, the fuck was that? Anyways, yeah, they probably gave them that warning message like, yo, we be washing y'all shoes. Trust me. Ladies with the long hair, even though it's beautiful, tie that shit up. Dudes with the dreads, you got the long Bob Marley shit down the ass. You better tuck that motherfucker up like three times and then roll it. I don't know how the dread should roll, but they'll find a way to fuck with you. They really will. And um, trust me, a, a lot of people want to move up right now. Around peak season, I'm pretty sure. Oh, if you want to move up and it's around peak season, go to your A to Z and check out your eternal uh, transfers, man. You might got an offer in there. And like I said, you're going to have a lot of brown nosers and ass kissers and snitches telling on you to, you know, get their chances to get the position you know, faster than anybody else. So be careful what you're doing around there. Be careful what you say. All that. I don't give a fuck if you in a smoker's cage, at a table somewhere that's standing outside. If you see a, a, a AM or you just see somebody that's just interested in your conversation, you see them doing that little side eye shit, y'all having a whole full blown conversation, they ear hustling. Oh my god, tell them. Oh, they just said they got out the car smoking. Oh, okay. Oh, they just said they got some head in the car. Oh, I'm about to go tell them. Be careful, man. Motherfucking state telling on people gonna get you a promotion. In some instances, it might. If you lick enough ass, you know what I'm saying, and you get promoted from just strictly snitching, those people tend not to make it because you didn't make it off skill and being a better person. You licked ass for that position. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful. Peak season is very, very, very fucking dangerous. This when they knock your ass out. When they bring in mountains and mountains and mountains of new people, like, I'm telling you, for like, mm, we about to be in October. I'm telling you, whole September and middle of August, I done seen so many new people in here. It is not fucking funny. I'm like, yeah, but like I told you before, you can look out of those groups like, all right, they had 10 people, probably only three or four going to make it. So a lot of them not going to make it, but the ones that do make it and they out working your ass and shit like that, better UPT and better numbers and all that and ain't talking crazy to managers and all this you know rebellious shit they gonna get rid of your ass and bring them in it's like a rotation and eventually when they probably getting paid too much money and they start getting that mouthy mouth shit they gonna get them out and do the same shit it's you know what i'm saying that's why i said i'm about to get my cdl because i respect my manager even though me and her bump heads a lot but i respect her she told me straight up i already hired somebody to replace you so me, I'm like, damn, you must be really confident that I'm about to get this CDL. Speaking of that, these motherfuckers keep pushing my tape, my test date back. I was gonna take the test next week. They done pushed my shit back to the 17th. So a nigga just gonna keep studying and shit till it's all um, game time. But I'm confident myself. I'm definitely gonna get that CDL. And I just be chilling outside all day and practicing maneuvers while I'm getting paid. So that's another update case motherfuckers wanna know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all I've really been seeing in my building. You know, they're still building a new, they building a lot of new equipment, robots and shit. I'm telling you, man, I've been seeing this shit all over the internet and just at the building. They are trying to replace humans with these robots. I'm telling you, at, at some point, they're not even going to have humans in that bitch. We already got that robotic ass arm down in trans and shit. I'm, I'm pretty sure more of those are coming. Like, my manager told me they about to build some shit for us. Because they keep putting totes in our fucking area where we gotta store our stuff at. So now they about to build barriers and shit like that. It's a lot of stuff being built built in my building at my site. So you know, we just seen a lot of shit, you know. But yeah, for the most part, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, let y'all know what's pretty much been going on in my building. A whole bunch of machinery and a whole lot of new hires. And yes, motherfuckers have been getting fired. I forgot to say that too. The CMW people, I think like six or seven people got knocked down. And they've been knocking down other people too for the, the same shit they warn everybody about. Shoes, earphones, and them phones. And going live. It's crazy. They, you know, it's fucked up. I can't agree with that. Why you off the clock, while you walking on the phone, talking to your girl or your nigga, your family, whatever. They say, hey, you cannot be FaceTiming. If you inside of that building, you shouldn't be FaceTiming at all. I don't give a fuck if you're doing a review of Amazon or whatever. If you're going to do that shit, make sure it's like a white background. Like you in a bathroom, maybe a break room, something like that. But don't show the desk areas and the neon lights and the yellow pole and the topes and shit. Because some of these people videos y'all be sending me, I'm looking like, oh my God, I hope the wrong eyes don't see this shit. 
or that person fall out with somebody and shit. Like, look what the fuck he doing? He taping this out of Amazon. You just don't know, man. You just don't know. Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If I trusted more of the people that I was around, I would record at Amazon too to show y'all what I do. You know, have a little camera here or something like that, show you how it is, a break room. Like, it's like, like some vlog type shit, but I know I don't fuck with niggas and niggas don't fuck with me either. You know what I'm saying? People I used to be cool with, we not cool no more. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know what the fuck they say, like, or, you know, just to have some ammunition on a nigga. Even though I got ammunition on my enemies too. But I'm not a cornball like that to go snitch on you and do some bullshit. I know motherfuckers who have stole shit up in there, stole batteries, stole food, you know, taking long ass breaks and shit, hit missing punches, all types of shit. But I don't tell on them because I'm not corny like that. Like, man, whatever. If you can get away with it, go for it. Like I told motherfuckers at Walmart, bro, if you can make it past that door and get in your car, go for it. If you can make it to the door without getting tackled, go for it. I don't know if you're going to make it past the red and blue lights, but if you can make it past that door, go for it. Because I don't get paid to stop shoplifters. I got paid to put a bunch of both turkey meat, hot dogs, bacon, and the, all the meat products. Pause. But that's the, that's, that's the motherfucking department I used to work in, the meat department. Shout out to the ladies. I got the meat. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. Anyway, yeah, but my, that wasn't my job to motherfucking stop people from stealing. Hey, hey, stop him. Who, him? Oh, he already gone, man. I got asthma. I can't chase that nigga, and I smoke a lot. When, when we chase this motherfucker, he turn around. Uh, boom! And I get shot. No, I'm not being no hero. All this shit y'all got in here is short. I don't give a fuck. Just like Amazon, I'm pretty sure everything they have in there is short. I'm not putting my life on mine for nothing. I'm not about to snitch and potent potentially make an enemy and a motherfucker run into me at a bar or club, even though I don't go there. But I, I, I like a, a little rarity. I do go out with friends and shit. Ain't you that fuck nigga that told on me and got me fired? And you never know what type of time niggas gonna be on these you know, some gangster shit randomly because you run into them. Walmart, Target, or whatever. Fuck, gas stations. The world is, I keep telling people, the world's small, but it's big. It's big. It's small. You will run into a motherfucker you was beefing with. So, I don't know, man. I don't know where, where, what else to tell y'all, how many warnings I could give people until they actually apply and listen. I don't know, man. I want to see y'all win. That's all. The ones that want to win. If you don't give a fuck about Amazon, keep wilding the fuck out. Just keep doing it. That's on you. You are in control of your own destiny. You in control of I can't tell you. I can try to help you, but I can't tell you what to do. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to tell you that. Get right or get wrong. It's on you. That's what the show about. But like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. A nigga is still fighting to hit my 1,000. You know what I'm saying? Just do it for your boy. It's free. You know, I'm trying to stay motivated to keep doing this shit. But yeah. This is how this background is going to look. I, I might add some more shit to it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know yet, but when I get my curtains up on this wall, I have my camera here, over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to do it over there because I got two chairs sitting right there, one here and one here, and it'll be like unlevel for y'all. Y'all be looking at me in one chair, looking at the other chair, like, what the fuck? Like, I might do it that way if I got, like, a guest. That, that's, that's, that's how that, you know, that idea on that wall over there would work. And it would be like more suitable. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all catch my drift. Just envision it. Just envision it. But I will see y'all later. Again, watch your ass. This is kill season. It's going down. Don't believe me. Just watch. Nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm just playing with y'all. I'll catch y'all later.